welcome back. In today's nonprofit marketing tip video, I'm gonna share 10 strategies to help you fundraise on social media. If you're excited to get into these strategies, give us a thumbs up. And before we jump in, I wanna share a statistic with you and it really drives home the importance of being strategic on social media so that you can fundraise. And this comes from nonprofitsource.com and they say that 55% of people who engage with nonprofits on social media end up taking some sort of action. And 59% of those people donate money. So people are donating money because of social media, because of the messaging on social media. And so the key to social media is to attract and retain your audiences through content marketing. So this is where you're providing them value, education, so that you can establish trust and credibility. The nonprofits that are raising the most funds through social media understand content marketing and are being very strategic. So if you have not seen our movie or our video about content marketing, check it out here. We'll also put a link in the description. So we actually encourage you to watch that video first and then come back and watch this. So let's dive into the 10 strategies. So our first strategy is to create a fun event for your nonprofit and then to market that on social media. So this should be an event that people have to pay to attend. And here's the key with social media. You want to poll or ask your social media followers what kind of event is important to them. And it should not just be an open-ended question where they could put any kind of event you should give them options that are related to your mission. So let's say that you are a health-focused nonprofit, you could have options like 5K, a bike run. Be creative and think of different events that people who follow you would be interested in and that also contribute toward your mission. So the key here with social media is to get the feedback from your followers. If you get 90% of people who wanna participate in the 5K and there's hardly anyone that wants to participate in the other four options you thought of, this is your starting place to understand what people want to do and that's going to help you raise more money when you do promote the event via social media. Our second strategy is Facebook fundraisers. Now most of you know about Facebook fundraisers and you probably have not seen a lot of results from them and so what we're going to encourage you to do is to focus on birthday fundraisers and here's why. This allows you to send an email every month or to put out a social media post every month that says Hey, if you have a birthday in August, we want to remind you that you can start a birthday fundraiser on Facebook. And then you can go into actually how it works because a lot of times people need to know or understand how to do something before they will take action and make sure that you emphasize the impact for that month. So you may decide that you want to have a monthly impact schedule and tie that into your Facebook fundraisers, or you may already have quarterly fundraising campaigns that you do. It's just important to clarify and make sure people know what the money is going to go toward. So if you have not been taking advantage of putting out a monthly social media post at the beginning of every month that reminds people that they can do a birthday fundraiser for your nonprofit, this is something we recommend that you start incorporating sooner than later. Our third strategy is to use the Instagram donate sticker. This is a new feature from Instagram that was rolled out a couple months ago. For the first time ever, you can raise funds through your Facebook stories and people who follow you can also help you raise funds through Instagram stories. And the key here is not to put up a story that only asks for donations. You wanna lead the story with facts about your nonprofit, how you're making the impact. Maybe there's a testimonial and a actual story of someone. And then your last story within the sequence should be a donate sticker that allows people to take action if they want. So again, if you're just asking and trying to put the donate sticker on things, you're not going to see any effects. So what you really wanna do is make sure that you're telling a story through your Instagram stories and then giving people the opportunity to opt in at the end. If you're not familiar with the donate sticker, check out this video. The idea with the Instagram donate sticker is that you don't want to put up a story that only asks for donations you want to actually create a story. So you want to tell people what you're doing, why you're doing it, what their impact's going to be, and then put the donate sticker up. Our fourth strategy is a strategy that not a lot of nonprofits are using. And this is to actually pitch to your corporate sponsor a value to be mentioned in your social media posts. And this is really great for corporate sponsors for businesses because if you're creating the content 
it's much easier for them to share it and it looks much more impactful for the people who are following them to see that they're sharing something that the nonprofit or your nonprofit wrote about them. So here's where you can get really strategic because what a lot of nonprofits might think is, okay, we'll put that company's logo up and then we'll thank them for sponsoring us and that will be the social media post. What you wanna do is get really creative. So maybe the sponsorship is for you to actually create a video about your nonprofit. And at the end of the video, you could have some kind of thing that says powered by whatever the corporate sponsor's name is. And you can also mention that in your caption at the very end, something like thanks to XYZ corporate sponsor for sponsoring this video. We're able to do XYZ in our community because of it. So get really creative. Another option is you could have their employees come out to volunteer. You could capture that via an image and then share that on social media, thanking them for their social media sponsorship and volunteerism within their employees. So get creative. You wanna make it relevant you want to make it engaging and really use the power of content marketing here. So our fifth social media strategy for you to raise funds on social media is to highlight your corporate sponsors. So this is where you want to showcase how corporate sponsors or local businesses are getting involved with your nonprofit. And the key here, you get kind of a two for one is you're showing value to the corporate sponsor by promoting them on social media but you want to encourage other businesses to do the same. So let's say you put up a testimonial of why a corporate sponsor is involved with your nonprofit and one of your followers sees that they work for a company and they think, oh, our company should do that too. Especially because in your caption, you can say something like, if you're interested in learning how your company can get involved, contact us. So you want to make sure that those calls to actions are there. And again, this is a great way because you're getting a testimonial from someone, you're sharing that and then inspiring others to take action to do the same. Our sixth strategy to raise funds via social media is to find out which restaurants have campaigns where they give back if you bring people to dine at the restaurant on a specific day. And here's the key of how you use social media for that. So maybe there's a list of five different restaurants in your community and what you want to do is poll or ask your social media followers which restaurant they visit most frequently. And the cool thing about this is you will understand oh 50% of people like Sioux Plantation or whatever the restaurant is and so instead of trying to do all of them or guess you have the information you need to know which one's going to result in the most money raised for your nonprofit and here is a pro tip so let's say that you decide to do your uh, restaurant fundraiser at Sioux Plantation what you can do is you can go on Instagram and you can search for Sioux Plantation in whatever your city is by the location tag and you'll see a bunch of people who've posted photos of their dining experience there. And once you promote the fact that you are doing a fundraising event at that restaurant, then you can comment on everyone's photo that's eaten there before and say, hey, we see that you like Sioux Plantation. We wanted to let you know we're a local nonprofit in your area. And if you visit on X day and mention our nonprofit, we you will get 15% of the proceeds. So this is a really great way to get some exposure because you're not only being relevant to that person because you know that they like soup plantation, but you're also giving them a discount count. So it's a win-win for everyone. Our seventh strategy to raise funds on social media is to have some kind of online auction. There are a lot of different sites that allow you to take photos of products and then to put them up for auction. You don't need to have this tied to an event. You can just do this once a quarter um, as long as you have products from local companies that you can auction off. And this is a fun way to engage your social media followers because everyone loves to bid on things, especially when they know that the funds that they're giving are going to a good cause. So they're getting something, you're getting something, everyone wins. Our eighth strategy to raise funds on social media is to promote Amazon Smile. So most of you are probably registered on Amazon Smile so that if someone makes a purchase on Amazon, your nonprofit can get half of a percent of that transaction. What most nonprofits don't do is post about that regularly. So you don't want to go overboard on this, but you can plan once a month to remind people to start their shopping with smile.amazon.com so that your nonprofit can benefit from those purchases. So it's just a small little tip, but if you're planning your content and you are being strategic, this is something you want to do about once a month. Our ninth strategy to fundraise on social media is to do some kind of donation drive. So if your nonprofit can benefit from non-monetary donations, you want to make sure that you're giving people the opportunity to do that. 
So maybe you set a reoccurring theme or day where it's the third Wednesday of every month you are accepting canned food or the third Friday of every month you are accepting school supplies. If you can get consistent in how often you're asking for these donations, people will start to know, oh yeah, this is the third Wednesday of the month and the food bank is collecting cans today. So this will you know, start out small, but can really amplify when people know that there is a specific schedule and people can remember that on a frequent basis. Our 10th strategy is to collaborate with influencers. So if you are wondering how you can work with an influencer, leave a comment below. This could be a whole different video, but the idea here is to find someone who has an influence in the, your same target audience. And if you can ask them to help you promote a fundraiser that you have, maybe they're helping you promote uh, the restaurant dining experience, or maybe they're helping you promote the fun events that you're coming up with. The idea here is you can leverage people outside of your organization that have big social media following so that you can get more exposure. And what you wanna do with the influencers, just a quick tip, is you don't wanna start out with asking them for something right off the bat. You want to introduce yourself, act like you would in real life where you have the conversation conversation, get to know each other, and then down the line when there's opportunities, you can ask them if they would be interested in helping. So those are our 10 strategies to fundraise on social media. They are strategic in the sense that you can use a lot of content marketing and you want to make them reoccurring. So these aren't just one and done things. You want to start to be consistent and promote them frequently, get engagement and interaction and insight from your social media followers. And so we hope that you found this valuable. If you're interested in and learning more about donation driven marketing, we are creating a course just for you. We found that a lot of nonprofits use digital marketing, but they're not sure which result or which strategies are going to get results. So we're putting together this course to help guide you with a step by step roadmap. If you're interested in learning about this when it launches, click the link in our description and you'll be on our list to get notified as soon as it comes out. And we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell notification because because we release a new nonprofit marketing tip video every Tuesday, and that will ensure that you see them the next time that you come onto YouTube. So thanks for watching today, and we hope you have a great rest of your week.